Hey, new guy, Dave. What other bands were you in, Dave? <laughs> well, Mike, uh, Infectious Grooves was one of them, and Bad for Good, that's my biggest claim to fame. Really? Yeah. So then how many times have you taken acid? Oh, uh, about a hundred. A hundred? Yeah. That's pretty good. Matt, yeah. what other bands were you in? Uh, Victoria Manor and Pulley. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about carbohydrates? I love carbohydrates. I'm loving them more and more every day. Really? Yeah, yeah. You enjoy being in a band with the uh, big famous Jim Cherry? Yes, very much. That was fun. Good. Tony, big famous? You're going to ask me about flying. <laughs> <laughs> no flying. Okay. Oh, no. Phone's ringing. Uh oh. I'll get it. <laughs> Hello, no use your name interview. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tony, what's your obsession with eating things in one bite? Um, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I hear you like to, you can put a hamburger in your mouth and eat no, it. No, I think you're thinking of another band, some other guy. I, I thought I saw something where you were at, at McDonald's or something with a hamburger. I don't even eat McDonald's. Talk about that other, that fat guy. I haven't been to a McDonald's in five years, actually. Really? So, so and a hot, a hot dog either? Like a chili dog? You I, I haven't ate a hot dog in about seven years. Oh. Um, okay, because someone told me they saw you at the arena schedule and you were eating this hot no, dog. I'd never go there. Uh, so I'd never be caught dead there. You don't even eat food like that at all? No, I never do. It doesn't look like you could eat a hamburger one bite. <laughs> so, all right. Wrong, wrong band. Tonight, this next performance is going to be live. That's right. It's a day to fucking remember. You got your name? Yeah! I'd like to introduce to you tonight. No, I got some shit for it. Not in the U.S. Not in the U.S. Or anywhere. Anywhere. <coughs> 
<laughs> Matt, what's your favorite metal band? Oh, that's a good one. Iron Maiden. Let's go with Iron Maiden. So how many Iron Maiden songs do you know how to play on bass? <laughs> Pretty much everything from Number of the Beast to Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. It's about five albums. And you know every song? Yeah. That's incredible. It, how many or depressing, depends on how you look at yeah. it. Yeah, depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, how many main songs do you one. know on guitar? Uh, two. Two? Yeah. Guitar is it? Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, how many songs do you play on drums, main songs? About a third of one. Third Matt of one. taught me it. Made me, made me play it. <laughs> Can you play Sarah to Heaven, Dave? Yeah. You on the shows? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember. Yeah, prove it. <laughs> I can remember. Thanks, Mike. Oops. No? <laughs> Forgot. No. Nope. How many times did you ask about that? How many times did you ask about that? How did you get through the tryouts? That's <laughs> pretty good, though. You know, yeah, it's good. close. Yeah, the first chord. Yeah, four notes, right? I thought I was at Guitar Center for a second there. <laughs> how, how well do you guys know L7? No, you. How well do you know L7, Rory? I don't know him too well anymore, but I spent a little time with him. Well, I know Susie, but she doesn't know me very well. No? No. I saw her at a party once, and she she pretended, or she she didn't know me. How do you know those guys? Because uh, we toured with them on a bus for like seven weeks. Actually, I played an, an L7 song on Bongos. Wow. Well, I don't remember you either. Yeah, they probably know. Uh, <laughs> so, do you know anything dirty about him on the bus? Sharing a bus? Uh, Something dirty. I don't know. There someone, a, someone does. There was this weird thing on the seven weeks. There was this cucumber that was. Well, we can stop right there. So sorry, sorry, you're wearing your mother. No explanation's gonna make it seem alright. Young boy, listen to your father. It's more than just your life. How does it feel when you're looking down the barrel of a loaded gun? Did you see your life flash right before your eyes? Stop playing the kids and get yourself up on the floor. Young boy, send you to the lions. A man all dressed in white. Will you become a dog? How does it feel when I might have fucked you up, but you are not my son? Ourselves. 
We love ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we drive around and just love ourselves. How about, how about, no, no. What's, oh, no, that's, that's it. We, we love each other. All right. And that's it. We're the best bands are with. Other bands love us the best. Ask them. Oh, yeah. Others. Other bands love you guys. They told seven. <laughs> so Matt, I'd love to get a face to face. In that case, who would you rather fight, Dave Pollock or Jim Cherry? Oh, that's a good question. That's a really good one. I'm gonna say Jim Cherry, because he probably wouldn't punch back. Right. Where does David break a few ribs? And Dave, who would you rather remember. fight, Mike Muir or Mike Clark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, Mike Muir. So I'd take him on. Clark would whip my ass. Okay. A couple of good shots. You fight Mike Muir? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that one guy beat him up. Sean Palmer? Yeah, he did. No, no. Oh, that's that's the other guy. That's that one He beat him up. Uh, you guys, you guys ever had a lesbian in the band? Yes. Once. Just once? Just once. I don't know. I've heard twice. <laughs> Who was she? Um, uh, her name was Robin Pepper. She was a lesbian, yeah. She still is, probably. Probably. But she's not in the band. <laughs> no, she's not in the band. Okay. I want to be a lesbian. Does she? She, she, played, she plays on one of the records. You ever dress in women's clothing? Because <laughs> I see it. I've seen a video. Something Apparently, like more often than we thought. <laughs> Is there a use for a name? No! 